everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to cover the 5 most important wine etiquette tips. So let us start with etiquette tip number 1, holding the glass by the stem. Whenever you hold the glass, be it in any situation, a fine dining, a social party, a get together, a business party, always remember to hold the glass by the stem and not by the bowl. This is because of a couple of reasons. One, your fingerprints can come around the glass, which won't look appealing. Secondly, the warmth from your hands gets transferred through the glass to the wine and the temperature of the wine changes. If you hold the glass by the stem, the two very important points are one, it's easier for you to swirl the wine. Secondly, of course, it makes you look more elegant and poised. In addition to this, if you want to create a lasting and impactful impression, try holding the glass by the foot. This shows to those around you that you have knowledge and are aware of how to drink and appreciate wine. Etiquette tip number two, drinking from the same spot. When you have wine, it is a good idea to sip from the same spot, especially for ladies wearing a lip color. This prevents the lipstick stains from showing in, in different parts of the rim and the glass appears to be more clean. Also, you won't be smelling your mouth across the glass when you try to smell the wine. Through this, your impression and the message going out showcases mindfulness, awareness and that you are being considerate towards the wine as well as those around you. Etiquette tip number three, how to say no if you are a non-drinker and are in a fine dining setup. Okay. Let's assume you are sitting at the table with a couple of other colleagues or friends and the server is serving everyone wine. Now he comes to you. Instead of saying, no, I don't drink wine, to him, let him pour a little bit and then politely say, thank you, that'll be good. It is absolutely okay for you to not drink that wine and let it rest in your glass. But it is not okay for you to say, no, I don't drink wine, to the server in front of rest of the table. Etiquette tip number four, the clink. Now, when you raise a toast or someone wants to clink glasses with you, make sure you clink them bowl to bowl and not from the rim. This is because the glass is stronger at the bowl and fragile and delicate at the rim. This way, you also reduce the chances of the glass cracking or breaking. Etiquette tip number five, using the right glass. Now this is probably the most important etiquette and I feel the most underrated one as well. Sparkling wine has bubbles and to keep its bubbles flowing, the flute glass works best for it. And just like the red wine, it is best to hold this too by the stem or the foot. White wine is usually served chilled and it's perfectly fine to hold this glass by the bowl. And this is because if you feel the white wine is too cold for you, you can send in some heat through your hands and the white wine can come down to your desired temperature faster. For the red wine, it's a good idea to have it in a big bowl because it's easier to swirl and it will give more room for the wine to open up and connect with the oxygen. This way you can feel the beautiful aromas and scents from the wine. And this brings me to the end of today's video. Do let us know in the comment section if you would like more tips on wine etiquette, fine dining etiquette, business dining etiquette or anything else that we can help you with. We will be glad to cover those for you in our upcoming videos. And if you liked this video, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, cheers!